Hello and welcome back to Numeka's life hack series. My name is Paresh and today's topic is about how to convert a Hexpress hybrid project into an Omnis project. So let us consider a geometry that has a spiral casing and a set of stay veins. Now to generate a mesh in hybrid, we have to create a text file that is called config file. Now in this config file, we define a certain set of keywords that define the mesh settings. For example, there are keywords to define the input file, a certain set of refinements like local and proximity refinements, the edge capturing keywords, viscous layer insertion, further optimization steps, and then we have an additional volumetric refinement or surface refinement, and then the boundary conditions. So when we import the geometry file in Hexpress Hybrid, the respective tree will look something like this. Here, we can see that we have about eight patches and each of these patches are in their respective groups. Here, you can see a simple text editor where I have created a config file. So first, I read the input geometry. Then I define my all additional geometries which will be used for let's say volumetric or surface kind of refinements. Then I define what will be the output of my mesh or how will it be called. Then I have further parameters like local refinements and then proximity refinements between various selections. Then some refinement settings on my additional geometry, edge capturing keywords, optimization parameters, viscous layer steps, and finally, the boundary conditions. After executing the config file, the resulting Hexpress hybrid mesh will look like this. We can see that the edges are nicely captured. This is a cross section view across the blades and we can also see the viscous layers. And this is the outlet or the rotor stator interface. Let us now move on to the highlight of this life hack, that is the conversion script. So we have a Python script that will convert your existing Hexpress hybrid config file into an equivalent Omnis project. This script can be found in your Omnis installation directory and then underscore Python underscore scripts. And then there is a file called Hexpress hybrid to Omnis Hexpress. So what are the benefits of this Python script? So this will avoid a lot of manual work that means that you do not have to literally create the project from scratch in Omnis, but rather simply use the script. The limitations of the script are that the selections must not have any spaces. And as the format SPB is a native format of Hexpress hybrid, it is not supported and therefore it will be always converted into STL file. And because of this, the concept of overlapping selections, which is available in hybrid, is not supported in Omnis. Then closed thin walls are not supported. And then finally, when importing CAD files, there might be some loss of properties between Hexpress Hybrid and Omnis because of the different structures, as you can see here in this image. In terms of supported keywords, we have parsing keywords. This means that all the parameters related to these keywords will be read or detected by the Python script and then consequently their respective value will be saved within Omnis Hexpress. On the other hand, we have conversion keywords. This means that all the parameters that are specified here will be effectively converted to their equivalent value in Omnis Hexpress. Now I will show you how to use the Python script. So in your shell terminal, we will first write Omnis followed by the version number. In my case, it is 5.1 and then minus print followed by minus script followed by the full path to the Numeka provided Python script or Numeka provided conversion script. Then minus conf file and the full path to your existing Hexpress hybrid config file. There are also some optional arguments, for example, template. With this, we can choose the default Hexpress 
or the default open template. Then we have auto skip. This automatically answers yes to all your questions. For example, let's say we use a keyword called relax cells all. Now at the moment this is not compatible. Therefore, when you run the script, the shell will show an error saying unexpected keyword. And then it will ask the user if you want to continue. And that's when we decide if you want to continue as yes or no. So when we use auto skip, automatically the answer would be yes. Similarly, we have auto stop. So this will answer no to all the questions. Let us now put the script into use. I have prepared all the files and saved them into a directory. In this directory, we have a folder called geometry, which contains the input files. This is the Python conversion script. And then this is the config file. So to run the script, write omnis 5.1 and script followed by the path to the conversion script. Then I have config file and the paths to the config file. I will also use auto skip so that any incompatible keyword is skipped. And then I can press enter. Once the Python script has been executed, the Omnis project is saved and automatically closed. When we look at the config file, here the out file is called hh underscore mesh. This same name will be taken when saving the Omnis project. So let us open this project. And now we will side by side compare the config file and the Omnis project. So firstly, we have one input geometry and one add-in file, just like here. And then we have a domain that contains the input geometry. And now moving on to the mesh setup. So since this is a hybrid mesh, it's called here cells type mixed. We have a base size of 0 0.03. And then now let us have a look at the local refinements. So for example, let's have a look at tongue. So when I expand tongue, I can see that I have a refinement level of three and division level three, which can be compared here. Now moving on to proximity refinements. So I can access proximity via here. And now here I can see my all four proximity refinements. And the respective types can also be found here and the minimum cell size is also specified here. Right, so now we have some expert key parameters that specify edge capturing. So that would mean that we have capture boundary edges and capture boundary edges on the surface level two. Then let us have a look at the viscous layers. So again, for instance, at the tongue, so I click the tongue and then at the bottom I can see that the viscous layer is checked and the value is 5 viscous layers at 0 0.0003 that's 5 layers and expansion of 1.2 and lastly the boundary conditions so the inlets and the outlets have also been defined that can be seen by the symbol here and outlet is here finally upon performing the mesh generation we obtain a mesh that is exactly the same as the one created with Hexpress Hybrid. So I will create a cutting plane and zoom into one of the blade sections. So we can see that we have viscous layers and the edges are well captured. Similarly, in hybrid, therefore, in such a manner, we have successfully converted our Hexpress Hybrid config file into an equivalent Omnis project. So that was all for today's life hack. I hope you enjoyed the video. Try out this script for your project and let us know if you need any help. Thanks for watching and see you next time.